my nose is running. I'm Max and this is Sophie and welcome to our fan build. Today we are looking at this first set of cladding on our roof and we're doing this before we build up too much of the framework of the bathroom, the kitchen, and overhead cupboards. So we're putting this first skin on our roof. Because we started building our bathroom and realised the bathroom roof we were going to put in wouldn't have the ribs where it needed to be so it would like flop around. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have to um, kind of clad the whole thing first and then put the roof in. No, put the roof in and then put the walls up. So we're, we're gonna do that today. Cutting the ply, staining the ply, the plying the ply. <laughs> that's definitely not gonna happen in one day. We're gonna have to take a few days to do that. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're actually gonna do something else to finish it afterwards. So this isn't the finished product. So don't judge us on our dark roof. <laughs> So we have stained it twice. I still think it's a bit orange, but we're gonna go with it. Um, we are gonna cut off the end of this sheet so that it fits perfectly where the bathroom wall ends so that that sort of stud wall will hold up the end of the ceiling. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> I hope all our measurements are right. Yeah? Let's go. We're going to talk about yesterday. What happened yesterday? Nothing happened yesterday. <laughs> we had a bit of a fight yesterday. No, we didn't. I was very grumpy yesterday. I'm sorry. But we're going to stain it and get the ceiling up today. Smash yes. it. Yeah. We, we fixed a problem. It was just wrong screws. I was expecting too much. <laughs> but there's some ceiling up. But there's some ceiling up. And now it's okay. Ooh, there's some ceiling. That beautiful dark wood up on the ceiling <laughs> yes what could go wrong <laughs> so we got another coat of stain for this throw this one out do the next strip and then the final piece and then the ceiling's done we'll get that done today can't wait boom 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 let's paint it <laughs> explain what we're about to do next no idea <laughs> but it's in some relation to this mushroom vent we're going to throw this mushroom vent in above our shower um, which will help extract um, the steam? Moisture in the air when we're <laughs> Cause, showering. Because we don't want the air to be moist. I want to say a massive shout out for the people who said we're really methodical in our method. <laughs> because um, we have been <laughs> anything but methodical. We have now got no bathroom because that had to come out. We forgot to put this in so that had to come out. Oh my god. No bathroom anymore. But the roof is kind of tacked in so it's all good. In that food. It's all good. Oh, he's a mushroom. Let's do it with some mushrooms. <laughs> Next, we are putting this mushroom vent into our shower cubicle. Uh, we did the rest of our vents and windows earlier before we insulated and vapor barrier and did everything else. Um, but this one hadn't arrived yet, but it is now here. So before we put this next ceiling panel in, we need to attach it in the ceiling. It comes in two parts. Um, I'm going to drill down and then cut a 95 millimeter hole, which is what we need for this. Um, and then either side kind of pulls it together and that'll extract all of the hot air out of our shower. So before we get too carried away cutting a hole, um, I've bought up a piece of cardboard and cut a square in it. And I'm going to tape this down to protect the surface around the hole. Um, I've got our jigsaw with a metal bit. I've got our drill with a metal bit big enough for the jigsaw piece, dustpan and brush, pair of gloves, mushroom vent, some gaff tape. So 
So we've both managed to whack our heads on the piece of ply that we put on the side. So we're gonna call it a day because Max is actually bleeding and my head is sore. I'm excited today because we've made a choice <laughs> on the paint. Um, so we're gonna do some test staining and painting and try and make sure that this is the one that we want. Now, we've done a bit before, so we've got <laughs> some random stains going on. And uh, this is our flooring. <laughs> so hopefully this will complement. Who knows? Max doesn't care. He's just like, paint the damn thing. <laughs> but I want it to be nice. So. And it's cold today. Really cold today. <laughs> I've got full gear on today. We're going to do a couple of mock-ups, one of our cupboard doors and one of our van ceiling so we can compare the stained wood and the painted wood in the colour that we've chosen next to each other, see how they interact and see what looks best. And while that's all drying, we're gonna head over to the other side of the workshop where my dad is back. And he's gonna be helping us spray our sills with the proper, correct turquoise paint. It's good, it's good. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> The right colour. It is the right colour, thank goodness. It is all kicking off today. New paint. Gorgeous paint. New ceiling. It's almost finished. And the bathroom is going back in. Today's a good day. So happy. We matched the uh, colour of the van to this IKEA food clip. <laughs> Ignore him, we didn't. <laughs> We did, they did get it wrong though, they said it's the wrong colour, like, uh, to go get a refund. So we're really happy, we're gonna finish the bathroom shell, hopefully do that today. Touch wood. Get the last bit of uh, ceiling in. Yes. Touch wood. And uh, call that a day and then tomorrow, hopefully, go start our kitchen. Oh my god, we actually having a productive week. Yes. For the first time ever. <laughs> what have you figured out, Max? Oh, I've broken it. Um, so this shower trap that came with our shower tray obviously works, has a compression fitting on the end for like a household domestic waste pipe. Um, this top section obviously kind of screws and sandwiches in the shower tray, which normally has a bit of a gap underneath it in your house. But because we're going through this and the floor, that's about as deep as it goes and that isn't wide enough. So we need something with like a longer thread to attach it about that height. To sandwich it in place. What are you about to do? Drill a little test up. Ooh, hiccups. A little test hole in the floor so we know that it's safe to drill our waste water out. So just a pilot hole so we can <laughs> check it lines up with nothing underneath. I can't use this, it's a hiccupy. So we shot a little test hole down in this side and realised that we couldn't actually fit the trap underneath it. So another one down this side and we can fit the trap, so perfect. So we're going to spin it that way around instead. We're going to use a hole saw to cut this hole and then the bottle trap and everything will sit underneath the floor. Okay, so we're gonna stick the shower tray down now. And we do mean stick. We're gonna use this Sikaflex EBT stuff, which is like, um, it's gonna create a seal, but it's also gonna be flexible. So when we move, when we go over bumps and things, it'll hold it in place and not crack. Touch wood. <laughs> um, we're gonna give it a go, see if it works. So 
now we have the shower tray in and we're going to start building this framework around the shower and bathroom enclosure. So I'm going to add a couple more uprights in here, um, the horizontal piece across the top and then like we have on that back piece the ladder sections that go across to create its strength. So I'm going to start putting that together now. That is the next section of the bathroom frame in. Um, I'm just putting the horizontals in currently um, and then we're going to put this end piece on and it's our doorway in the centre and then that's going to be the bathroom frame complete. Where the shower then is we're going to use an aqua panel which is like a waterproof board to box in that and then the rest of the bathroom is going to have a ply wall um, and ceiling which is all probably going to be painted white but that's up to Sophie um, and then we have to put the floor in here and that's where our toilet box is going to go facing this way and then our shower tray. So we're back again. It's very late today. We got here at <clears throat> four o'clock, but don't tell anyone. So we're going to finish the bathroom today. That's the plan. Going to put in this last wall that's going here, finish some of the last little horizontals on here and then it's all framed out. And then we can finally move on to the kitchen, which is coming here. So let's go. So we're putting together the last wall of our bathroom. more little ladders. And then what we gotta do, have a shower? Hmm, I think there's still a way to go yet. I don't think it's quite shower ready. No? No. <laughs> our end wall of our bathroom frame, top and bottom. Um, should we go see if it fits? Yep. <laughs> Wide loop. Excuse me? Oh dear. Max has lost his tape measure. Again! But that's okay. <laughs> misplaced. <laughs> Sorry, misplaced his tape measure. Again! <laughs> So we've got the final wall in here. The last little bit is needed is this here, which Max has already cut, kind of. Tell him about your big brain energy. I've cut the angle in two. When we were doing the other end, I cut two. And with the angle that it needs to be, it's on the bottom face. We just need to cut the length down. And then I think the bathroom framework is done. We can take it off that list we don't have. That list we do have. Turn it around. Guess what I did? Guess what I did? Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, see? Oh. Now he's got the big brain energy. <laughs> so, yeah. Brain Nearly energy. Done. Who's that? No, I didn't dab. It's not a dab. Thank God. <laughs> Can you just bend that angle bracket? It's fitting there. For it, me. it looks like a bird <laughs> instead of a straight. I'm not very strong. Here you are. Oh, oh, my bum pushed the wall. This <laughs> end. Try that for me, please. <laughs> oh, Wendy, Wendy bracket. Bendy Wendy. Bendy Wendy. That if you're not from England and about our age, you will not understand what that is. Oh, ah, so close. It needs more. Can you like yam it in? So Max is putting in one of these big screws and that's going to go and hold our wooden frame to the metal of the van. So, start of the week, late start, but the bathroom shell is done. And here is 
Chris Max studying for his C1 theory test in his natural habitat of nervousness. <laughs> so why are we nervous tonight? Because the uh, theory test is tomorrow. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You'll be fine. He's taking loads of practice ones online and you're passing every time. I've almost finished the whole book. Theory tests for drivers of large vehicles. Most of which is absolutely useless stuff for what we need. Be good to remember Yay. it tomorrow. <laughs> well, also. Wish him luck. That is all we have time for this week, but catch next week's episode where we will be starting our kitchen. With the biggest sink in the universe. Yay. Um, if you've liked this week's, please give us a thumbs up. We would love it if you considered subscribing to our channel because it is the best thing in the world. And um, I guess we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Two out of ten. Aww.